Now in this part of the question then, if we've got this region S and we're to rotate it around the x-axis, giving us a volume of revolution, then how do we get the exact value of that volume of revolution? Well, basically, what you've got to remember is that the volume of revolution about the x-axis is always pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x. And your limits, in this case, have to go from x equals 1 to x equals root 2. So it'll be from 1 to root 2. Now, if we take the curve, y equals 4 over x bracket 4 minus x squared to the power of quarter, and we square it, what we're going to end up with is that this integral becomes pi times the integral from 1 to root 2 of y squared. So what you're going to have is 4 squared, which is going to be 16, okay, all over x squared and then if you square 4 minus x squared to the power quarter you're going to end up with 4 minus x squared to the power half in other words the square root of 4 minus x squared with respect to x now hopefully this looks fairly similar to what you had before because if we were to now pull out the 16 Okay, you would get 16 pi times the integral from 1 to root 2 of 1 over x squared root of 4 minus x squared with respect to x. Now, we worked out this part earlier on in the last part of the question. We found that it came to, well, it, first of all, we'll just put the 16 pi down and this integral came to a quarter multiplied by root 3 minus 1. So, if we just put that in square brackets there. So all I need to do is cancel out the 4 into the 16. 4 into 4 goes 1. 4 into 16, 4. So what we end up with then is 4 pi multiplied by root 3 minus 1. And there you have the volume of revolution then, when s, that area, is spun around the x-axis.